literally I made this video because I was like, please don't wish to be a perfect person. <laughs> it doesn't exist and it's really exhausting to try. If your life feels like a hot mess and you kind of feel like people can see that happening, take it from someone who's very much a perfectionist, that's not all bad. There's something of a real freedom that comes with being able to make mistakes and have other people see them. So while it's maybe not true that there are specific mistakes I wish I'd made in my life, I do generally wish I'd been open to making a lot more of them. So today I want to talk about the concept of finding balance with regards to taking risks and allowing life to be a little bit of a mess. So I've always been someone who's very much played it safe. Um, I tend to look ahead at potential problems or like mistakes that could be made and try really carefully to avoid them. I'm very sensitive to criticism. So if I do get something wrong and someone calls me out on it, I have a very hard time with that. And it's sort of just the way I've been since I was a child. I don't like disappointing people. I don't like making mistakes. And so I tend to be very perfectionistic. I tend to present myself really deliberately and very well. When life does get messy or I am having a hard time with things, I have a really hard time showing other people that or actually opening up about it and sharing it. And I've had people tell me, especially like back in high school, I used to have people tell me that they really admired me or that I seemed like a perfect person. And while in some sense that was nice, like it would kind of feed my ego, I was like, great. Yes, thank you. I know I'm wonderful. There was something of a trap in that too, because I think I knew that it wasn't true. Like, of course, I know I'm not a perfect person. And so there was the reality of living with a little bit of dishonesty or like knowing that I wasn't really being totally genuine and not so much consciously. And I don't think people usually set out to be like time to pretend to be someone else, but sort of in little ways, I wasn't really being authentic and really sharing all of who I was as a person. So people had this impression of me that wasn't really accurate. And of course it left me feeling like there was the standard I had to live up to. Like, oh, well, I've been a perfect person before, so I guess I better keep doing that. <laughs> Now as I've gotten older and been more aware of this trait in myself and sort of deliberately tried to move away from it a little bit, I've gotten, <laughs> this is so funny, but I've gotten less comments from people saying that like, oh, I seem like I'm perfect and I have my life completely together and I'm actually pleased. It's a little bit liberating. I know I'm bringing myself towards a more balanced, more honest way of living because people don't think that I'm perfect, which is so funny because many of us really strive to be perfect. And I think it's been in my mind lately that for the people I know, because I know other people who live life very differently. The wiring in their brains is different. The way they approach problems is different. And they will make these bold choices, just like big, bold choices, where I will watch them and be like, that's so scary. Like, why are you doing that? Do you not see the like eight ways this could go horribly wrong? And they just kind of like march ahead. And sometimes it works out really awesome for them. And sometimes it works out really badly. But it's like out in the open and people really see it. I like for my mistakes to be very internal <laughs> as much as possible. I'm like, I'm going to deal with this myself. And if I really need help, I'll like let it out a little bit. But other people live very differently from from me, like all of us like think and process and and tend to be very individual different people and I've often been really amazed and in awe of the people who live really big bold lives and it's just been in my mind that sometimes it's another kind of comment I've gotten people sort of wish that they could be more like the cautious like the restrained type and I just want to be really clear and say that it's not all the best it's not always the best I feel like I have a lot of work to do overcoming the rules that I put on myself. And that can be kind of really exhausting. <laughs> Aristotle's notion of virtue is something I really love and it's actually helped me a lot because his idea has to do with finding balance. I have, if you're curious about Aristotelian virtue, you can check that out there. I did another video on it because I really like his concept because it has to do with finding balance. So for myself as tending towards perfectionism, I do care a great deal about how I behave both for myself and for the sake of other people. Like I hold myself to a very high standard, which is not out and out a bad thing. Of course, there's like a lot of good that comes from that. I, I put in a lot of time and effort into evaluating how I've acted, what choices I've made, and whether or not I'm being successful. By a lot of moral metrics and like the ones I used when I was younger, it was always a matter of just like keep trying harder. If I did something wrong, I would kind of 
beat myself up about it and I was just like well I guess I need to not do that again like I need to try harder and so my pursuit of virtue was always very um, intense and a little exhausting and very demanding so when I understood Aristotle's idea of like finding a balance it, it changed it for me to where I could see that I was like really far on one end of the spectrum like super tough on myself and being that intense isn't necessarily a good thing so i really like his concept and i've been trying to apply it to this idea of taking risks in life and there are several different virtues that can apply here but certainly courage is one of them right so if courage is in the middle then we can have um recklessness on one side where we jump in like head first without really evaluating anything maybe get ourselves into a ton of trouble all the time and then we kind of have cowardice on the other where maybe we don't move about enough we're, we're like too afraid of making mistakes or doing something wrong so I could look at this and say okay my perfectionistic tendencies are tending me towards like cowardly behavior a little bit like, I'm not always open to people or open about myself or open to opportunities in life because I'm so afraid of making a mistake and then the other part of course I think it ties in totally ties in with pride because there's a lot of concern for how other people see me there is such a thing as like a healthy like a a good pride and frankly in the English language I feel like we need more words for this but on the one side you can tend towards a little bit of like self-loathing right like if we're trying to be humble or we have a, a, a total lack of pride then we really dislike ourselves we don't we don't appreciate who we are but then on the other side we can have a lot of arrogance right where we feel like hugely puffed up about who we are and love that other people can see us being awesome <laughs> so I was looking at this and I was like oh okay like my theme is I tend towards a little bit of cowardice and a little bit of arrogance and when I look at it in that context it it totally changes it like completely changes the game for me so I need to like temper this desire to seem perfect mostly by like being more open with people and sharing my struggles and and my faults and that has been hugely liberating for me and then I need to pull away from this maybe like cowardly little bit fear-based way of making decisions and be more open to risks and so I've been practicing the last few years trying to bring these back to balance and be less tough on myself and less perfectionistic and it's been really really liberating and I've been <laughs> making more decisions where if something could go either way like there's no obvious like I'm not doing something clearly wrong. If it's not really clear, I will just decide to do the riskier thing. I'm like, okay, either either option could be good. So let's like take a risk here. And that's been really, and that's been really different and very exciting for me. And it's helped me to be a lot more free and open. So for anybody watching this, if you know you tend to be much more, maybe much more rash, like you do tend to like jump in without thinking, then maybe if you have a decision that lands in the middle and you're like, there's no clear right or wrong here, maybe do the more cautious thing. Like maybe hold yourself back a little bit more, but don't, literally I made this video because I was like, please don't wish to be a perfect person. <laughs> It doesn't exist and it's really exhausting to try. It's not, yeah, it's not the way, not the way to be. <laughs> Another thing I've been hugely grateful for in my life is my experience with theater. I mean, I'm an arts nerd, so there you go. But my time studying theater and being involved in theater projects over and over again, you're being asked to like take risks and do things outside your comfort zone. So you go up in front of a group of people and like look ridiculous so many times. Oh my gosh. Like for the sake of my sanity, I'm so glad I got a degree in theater. It was really good for just who I am as a person. Helped bring a lot of balance into my life. It was like medicine for me. I had to take a lot of risks, which balanced out my like fearful, nervous, overthinking tendencies. And I had to be okay looking super foolish, which balanced out my more arrogant, like wanting to be perceived just right way of being as well and that was just awesome for me i do have another video on perfectionism so if that's your struggle that breaks down just a few ideas there but one of the key things is to to go outside your comfort zone like pick up a new hobby or something that you are actually not good at and and just learn and just grow and be in that space of like safely being bad at something it's oh, it's the best i like can't recommend it enough everyone needs to do something they're bad at regularly it's it's great and it's very uh hopeful and joyful to conclude that life is like inevitably but also ought to be like it needs to be something of a really beautiful mess it just kind of is and i think we can't avoid it and so leaning into that is really very freeing and with that i'm wishing you all some positive uh risk taking and a little bit of light joyful messiness to your life for this week Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.